How's it going, my friends? This is Anakis, and today I'm doing part three of the What If Wave, or Mark Disney Plus Wave, whatever you want to call it. Uh, got Howard the Duck and Red Skull. First figure of each. Uh, So let's go ahead and check these guys out. We got the Howard the Duck and Scott Lang head right there. What if Marvel Legends that yeah artwork cross sell all the parts and legal bullshit. And with Red Skull, we got the figure artwork cross sell all this. Oh. I have a hard time with these smaller figures like this. Like, I really had a hard time paying, like, I think it was 20, $25 at a show for Peter Porker Spider Man. And that's a figure of this size. Which I will show, compare, try to show comparisons on my YouTube channel, Ionicus Toy Reviews. My YouTube channel, my Instagram channel, because we're on my YouTube channel right now. Uh, other than that, let's just go ahead and get on to this and open these guys up and check them out. And welcome to, again, I guess Toy Reviews. So, we got Howard the Duck out of his box, and here you go. Yes, I'm doing this a little different, so sue me. So, head can go 360... Arms can go 360. You can do a T pose. You got a bend at the arm. And his hands can go 360. But his legs aren't posable, and that really sucks. But his feet are. There's a mod for some, uh, you take a Fortnite figure and you can just, like, pop them apart. I'm gonna have to look right into that. And the other Fortnite figure, you can take the head, the hands, and the feet and swap them. And it'll be fully articulated. But beyond that, it's kind of cool. figure the suit the hat because I think in the Marvel 616 Howard the Duck is a detective I don't know I mean I'm like the original classic Howard the Duck stuff but I'm still one of those that minority of Marvel fans that still Iffy when it comes to the Howard the Duck movie. Although I did love his appearances in the Marvel MCU and in What If. I want a, I want a zombie Howard the Duck. Go read Ash vs. the Marvel... Or not Ash, it's... Uh, Marvel Zombies vs. the Army of Darkness. That's a good one. And here we have the Scott Lang head from the Marvel Zombies episode of What If. I don't even I don't even remember how they explained how he, he is still alive, still a head in a jar. But, so, for this, you're mainly just buying the body for Kan Kanju, which we'll get into this in the next episode. 
still doesn't feel like it should have been enough. On paper, you're probably in a heart of the duck, a head, and the build for your piece. That's it. It's just off kilter for me. We also have Red Skull, which is my first Red Skull figure. Which I kind of like the fact that he doesn't look look so much animated. There's more of a regular look to him, which I had issues with the more animated looking figures, from especially from the What If waves. But he only comes with a cosmic cube. Or, uh... The Tesseract, as they called it. You know what that looks like? That looks like uh, one of those Warheads cubed gummies. That's what the, the test rack looks like. But, uh, Red Skull looks pretty good in this guy's detail on his uniform. And yeah, he's got the skirt knee. Head can go up and down. <coughs> mm. Needed that. And rotate 360. You can do a T pose. Arms can rotate 360. There's a swivel there, the upper arm. You have the pinned elbow joints, which They've done the pinless joints on the other figures. Why couldn't they do that on him? His hands go back and forth. Rotate. Wobble, wobble. Waist swivel. The skirt of the knee hampers the leg articulation so much. There's this swivel of the leg, upper leg. There's a pin joint in the knee. No boot swivel, but the feet can go every which direction. And he comes with, also with Khonshu's right arm. So he doesn't look bad. No, he wasn't in the series, what if, that long. Before he gets killed by the Shumagorath. I think it was it Shumagorath? If they do another build a figure wave of what if figures, hopefully they do Shumagorath. Oh, there's Red Skull. Uh, overall with these, how did the duck come giving a seven? Because he sucks. It would have been a lot better if they give him knees and leg articulation. And maybe if his hat would be removable. But just how the duck like this, the Scott Lang head. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's worth it. Red Skull, an 8. The waist skirt thingy really hampers the figure. Though it's cool to finally have a Red Skull in my collection. Like the Hydra symbol on his shoulder. I'm 
first round up. After you're done here, go back to your point and count the shells. Okay, we won't be gathering those until tomorrow. Hey! Hey, who's after you? But it's still a good figure, I guess. <laughs> Overall, this wave has so far been pretty lacking. The first wave, the first wave was a lot better. We'll see how these go. Uh, anyway, I would say this way is worth getting, but. Considering you can find them most of them on clearance now, if they're still out there, they'd definitely pick them up. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. Like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications, and just remember to keep hitting those toy aisles. And we'll see you guys next time. Later.